Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. We all go through these periods when our skin is irritated from either products that we're using or even the change in the weather. And I recently did a video on dehydrated skin as well as how to soothe the compromised skin barrier. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a skin routine and evening routine that I do and some skincare products that I've been loving recently that I've been helping calm down and soothe my skin. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post a lot of skincare, makeup, lifestyle, and hair related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. Without further ado, let's get started. skin is irritated I tend not to wear a lot of makeup on my face now all of my irritation is completely gone and I did film a video today which is why I have makeup on my face today but I'm gonna jump in with an eye makeup remover this is the micellar water from La Roche Posay it's for sensitive skin I absolutely love this and sometimes this is the only thing I use in the morning to wash my face I also have my makeup eraser. This is the original one. I got this one in a goodie bag from FabFitFun. And I love using these to remove all of the makeup as well as oil remover, like oil um, cleansers as well. It's really helpful for that. So I'm actually just gonna take the micellar water and put it straight onto this here. I like it so much better than using cotton rounds because you can just throw this in the wash and it'll be good as new. Okay, now I'm going to resolve my makeup and SPF by using a double cleanse. This is the Coco Kind Oil to Milk Cleanser. Um, I've actually been using this for quite some time and I really do enjoy how hydrating and moisturizing, I should say, it is to the skin. It doesn't leave your skin feeling stripped. Sometimes when you're doing a double cleanse, it can really leave your skin extremely stripped because cleansing in general is the most invasive part of your skincare routine. So it's super important to use products that are very gentle. And that's why sometimes I would recommend just skipping the morning cleanse, just getting that out of the way because when your skin is going through these periods, washing the skin three times a day can be a little bit much. So in the morning, just use a micellar water, rinse with some water on your face and be good to go but in the evening especially if you are wearing SPF I would say it is quite important to do a double cleanse because you want to get rid of the SPF SPF can clog your pores and you want to take that off so that's what I love using this for so the next step is actually cleansing my skin. The one that I have is the Low pH Good Morning Cleanser by Causerex. And I love this one because it is just so simple on your skin. This one has a really nice blend of leaf waters as well as extracts and evening primrose. It also has tea trees. It's going to be very calming and acne fighting as well. Um, so go ahead and put a little bit of this cleanser in your hand. When you're cleansing the skin, you really want to let the cleanser do the most of the work. So I'm barely even touching my skin. I'm just letting the cleanser be rubbed around my face. And you do this for at least 60 seconds. Especially with the wash off product, you want to make sure that the cleanser is on your skin long enough that those great ingredients actually do something. When that's done, it's time to actually hydrate the skin. So while my skin is still damp, I'm gonna go in right away with a toner. This is the Raw Victim Skin Essentials Activating Treatment Lotion. I really like this product because it is a very gentle, simple formula. It doesn't have any fragrance, no colorants, no anything like that. It just reminds me of a really beautiful hyaluronic acid. So you wanna apply this while your skin is still damp. Oh, it's beautiful. It's this like jelly serum. It's honestly a beautiful hyaluronic acid. And I think it has like a couple of different types of hyaluronic acid in there. It has aloe in there, butylene glycol, I believe. Um, some really great ingredients in here. There's also caffeine. So if you're using this in the morning, it's gonna really help to get rid of any um, dullness in your face and help to wake you up and brighten the skin. So I love that. But yeah, I'm very surprised by this product and how much I really do enjoy it. It's something so simple, but hydration is the key to everything when it comes to skincare. This truly helps with that. 
When your goal is hydration, an essence can be a great option because it allows some really great ingredients to just quickly absorb into the skin and it's very lightweight. The one that I'm using is the Aromatica Rosemary Concentrated Essence. This is a new brand to me. What I really love about it is the thought process behind these products. So this one specifically is primarily a rosemary essence. Rosemary is really great for anti-inflammatory. It helps to soothe the skin. Also, it delivers aromatic benefits when you inhale it, it helps to calm the body, calm the nerves, and de-stress. And this is what I feel like skincare truly means. It's about self-care. And so that entire experience without any additional fragrances or additional colorants or anything like that, I think it's really beautiful. They're also ethically sourced. They are packaged in recycled glass and you can actually reuse this glass bubble as well there's so much that goes into here that i absolutely support as with most liquid products i like to apply this when my skin is still damp so i put it in my hands and i first inhale it and then i pat it into my skin y'all this feels amazing. You guys can see with just these two products, my skin already looks so plump, so hydrated, and that is exactly what I love to see from my products. So next, it's important to moisturize to lock all of that hydration in. And tonight I'm using the Snail Bee High Content Steam Cream. Pretty much the entire Benton line is infused with snail mucin. This is a really interesting K-beauty ingredient that's able to rebuild the skin as well as help to fade dark spots. As the name suggests, it is also infused with bee venom, which is really great at increasing collagen in your skin as well as helping to fade the appearance of scars. This one also has hyaluronic acid, which helps to maintain your moisture levels. It also has niacinamide, which is one of my favorite complexion ingredients. It also has something called ant adenosine, if I'm pronouncing that properly, and that's gonna help with some of the anti-aging benefits that this product gives as well. So I am just gonna dot this around my face. This one I feel like looks can be a little bit deceiving because it looks like it's a lotion, but it's actually quite a thick cream, so you don't need a lot of it. If you are somebody with more oily or combination skin, just a little bit of this will work, especially overnight. If you are someone with drier skin, you're really gonna love this cream because of how thick it is. In the daytime, this one is a little bit too heavy for my skin, but in the nighttime, it is the perfect consistency. Now, if you do have any red spots or any blemishes on your skin, it's a great idea to use a spot treatment. The one that that I'm using tonight is the AC Fighting Spot RX Cream with 10% niacinamide and 7% zinc. Now this one actually has a very high content of niacinamide so you may experience a little bit of tingling on your skin but niacinamide is going to help to soothe the inflammation as well as reduce the appearance of the blemish itself. The zinc as well, they're very calming to the skin, it's going to really help to soothe the area. This product has a really unique blend of hydrating, moisturizing, as well as acne fighting ingredients so the niacinamide and the zinc like we said before. It also has tea tree oil. For hydration it has the butylene glycol, it has glycerin that are really going to be great hydrators for the skin. And to keep your skin moisturized it has cetyryl alcohol which is a fatty acid. It's amazing at replenishing your skin barrier. And it also has sunflower oil. So once again a great occlusive, great oil for the skin. And so I love that this is not going to dry your skin out although it is a spot treatment. This one doesn't have any kind of scent but it's a really thick cream. So you would dot it on your skin and then just rub it in. So I have a couple of red marks on my face and that's exactly what I'm going to use this to get rid of. You know, sometimes it's not about just drying out the pimple by using the most harshest ingredients, acne fighting ingredients you can possibly find in the market. Sometimes it's about calming down the irritation, calming, soothing the area. You know, you can get a lot more done with your skin when you be gentle because then you don't have to, you know, take 10 steps back because you've irritated your skin. And that's one of the things that I love about this particular routine and some of the philosophies that I use in my skincare. Um, you know, less is more, it's important to be gentle, and hydration is key. And that is kind of what I follow in my philosophy. This one does dry down to more of like a matte finish, but it still doesn't feel drying at all. Last but not least, I'm going to moisturize my lips. This is the Dr. V Lip X Balm. Now this is a balm that's supposed to help fade the appearance of the darkness around your mouth. I've been using this for quite some time and I've truly seen a difference in my lips. 
I do have a video where I talk about the entire kit itself. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'll link it above. This product has a blend of gentle as well as effective tyrosinase inhibitors as well as skin brighteners, which is going to help to diminish the appearance of darkness on your lips while still being very moisturizing. It has a base of shea butter, which is one of my all-time favorite butters in general, but I don't find it to be the thickest of products at all. I treat it more like a serum, so then I do go in with a more occlusive uh, lip moisturizer later on. I actually bring this product all around my lips as well because when you have a darker skin complexion you tend to have this sort of darkness ring around your mouth and this has really been helping with that too okay so that is my evening routine i hope you guys like this video comment down below and tell me some of your favorite products for soothing and the irritation on your skin i would love to hear what you guys have to share as always click over here to see some of my previous videos remember to stay gorgeous stay fabulous and i will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video Bye.